and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another reaction, and today, guys, we are continuing on with some more Daring Grey, guys. Yes, we're continuing on with some more Polaris album, and yes, this is the song Otogi. Yo, are we ready for the reaction? Hulk smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, ring ding ding that bell so you don't miss a video. Let's get into this. this is Daring Grey with Otogi. A lot of distortion starting off with. Sounding pretty epic as well. We've got like some kind of strings in the background. Ooh. Oh, I missed it. Damn. That's sounding very nice, that is in the background. Is it a guitar or is it? It sounds like a piano. Ooh. Six minutes. Oh, oh! Oh, that is a nice riff. Oh, change up. Alright, just stop it just there a second. Like, you notice the riff does not follow any singular pattern when that riff, that first riff is playing. It's very, very like, it's not the typical one, three, five. It's more like the one, two. Oh, then we'll add a, t then we'll add a three. And then we'll go back to a two. And then we'll go back to a one. It's, it's like that kind of notion. It's really interesting when bands do stuff like that. But it works very nicely as well. And the riff is very... I love this riff. Keo's going really subtle on the vocals on this one right now. Here it comes. Change up. Diminish chords. It's like a change up of the main riff. Oh, keep that going for a bit. No, I don't stop it. Oh, changed up. So many change up in their riffs in this one. Oh, did you hear the emphasis on the background and Keo's vocals? Then the he, he had his normal like subtle subtle vocals, and then he had a higher pitch one in the back that blended in so nicely with that part. Oh, that was beautiful. I like this part of the riff, man. It's so cool. I just love these drum parts. Watch me and everyone, my reactions, and I'm just doing like a... Ooh! Guys, bass! Oh, let that bass play for a little bit. That is nice! The epicness is coming back into the play. Bring the guitar in. Oh, bringing back that piano in.
It gives it a nice atmosphere, like the... Ding, 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 ding. It's nice. Is it burning up near the end? No, I think it's burning up to another chorus. I love how they uh, mix in the blend of a nice, mellow-like, catchy riff and then switch straight into something like chunky. That 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 is very nice what they've done in this song. Church organs? Yeah, I hear some kind of church organs. Back into that intro room. Oh! More change up in the intro room. Oh! Wow! Oh! How much did they blend into this one song is like they like it, this felt like the like they took all the tracks in the album and blended it into one song in my opinion but man Otogi whoa this song this song really had a lot of emphasis in the background had the the, there were some groovy moments, but they were just in subtle groovy moments like like I said in that one part they play a nice melodic catchy riff and then switch straight into something like kind of chunky-ish and then go straight back into something like melodic that is a very nice way of writing a song without it sounding too oh what's the word too out of place but still in place but like i said the beginning riff uh, literally doesn't follow the typical uh, riff line of one, three, five, and then you change it, go back to like three, and then you go back to one, and then you probably hit two to an eight. They they were more like one, five, oh, and then we'll hit two, oh, then we'll hit three, then we'll go two again, then go three, and then one. It's like it was one of those really weird kind of riffs that what Duran Gray are used to doing. Keo's vocals in this one, he was he was staying at the the subtle the subtle range there were some nice um, emphasis on his vocals in the background on one part of the chorus where he did a much higher key which was very 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 nice i liked how that sounded it worked really well amongst keo's vocals and he also did some some like they weren't banshee houses but you had like some kind of like him doing like those like high sounds that don't sound too out of out of place but man this song was one on its own, man. It's like, I felt like this could probably make... If they made this song longer, it could have made like... You know, like, oh, Meshuggah did that one EP with the one song on it. This could have been one of those songs. But, man, I loved everything about this song. This one definitely going up on my favourites again. Next to... Um, Shadow and Floyd. I think it was Shadow and Floyd, I think it was. Oh, man, guys. So, if you enjoyed the action, guys... Hulk smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, ring a ding dong that bell so you don't miss a video, and don't forget there's a link in the description to check out the original song without my loud voice, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye -bye. And I'll tell you what guys, it is so hot today, but I'm going to be drinking some pumpkin spice, see you guys.